Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. We're done looking at all the crazy future inventions. So now we're looking at this microwave thing, apparently it's phone wave, and that timer right there. Just, it looks like the thing from the opening. So I got a feeling this is like a major plot point thing, but I don't know. I'm just assuming. But that, that is the same freaking timer. That has to be the same timer. Anyway, our current problem is future gadget number eight, the phone wave. Name subject to change. Phone wave is a pretty weak name, so I've added name subject to change to the end until we come up with something better. For the record, it was my Yuri's idea, not mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when a future gadget is completed, the three of us discuss what to name it. I prefer names based on mythology. Or names with hidden meanings that need extra explanation to understand. Daru thinks my naming style is too ridiculous. He just doesn't have a passion for words like I do. Mayuri can't be bothered to remember difficult names. She says they don't fit in her head. And so our opinions on gadget names are always split. But I digress. The phone wave, name subject to change, is in short a remote controlled microwave. You put food into the microwave before you leave, then on your way back, call the attached cell phone to start the heating process. Voila! Hot food ready for your arrival! Okay. So it's basically a piece of junk. <laughs> okay. A few days ago, however, we discovered that the phone wave, named subject to change, has a second unintended capability. What? Our brave, or possibly just ditzy, Mayuri, had made her daily routine to heat some frozen fried chicken by remote control. Long story short, she was defrosting her beloved juicy chicken number one, as usual, when the unexpected happened. The chicken came out more frozen than one she put in. The microwave refroze the chicken. What? Since then, Daru and I have been searching for the cause. So that's why it looks frosty. Oh, hello, Daru! We tried copying with my Mayushi. Mayushi. Oh, he calls her Mayushi! Oh my god! We tried copying what Mayushi did, but we just can't reproduce the freezing phenomenon. And when we tried to freeze a banana, it turned out really weird. I just don't get it! Daru, now looking completely fed up with the heat, starts fanning himself with his shirt. I know what he means by really weird. Let's see if we can't make it happen again. Mayuri! 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 Bring forth the bananas! Oh my god! Are you gonna turn them into Gelbanas? What? Gelbanas. 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 Got it! Are you going to turn them into Gelbanas again? That's been bugging me, Mayushi. Can you stop calling them Gilbanas? But Gilbanas are Gilbanas! I don't understand. I take the bananas from Mayuri and stick a whole bunch into the phone wave, named subject to change. I love how that is the, the name. Why do you have to use a whole bunch? It's waste of food. Your stinginess could cost us the battle with the organization! Oh no! Poor Mayuri! That's fine with me! Mayushi always buys the bananas! And now Mayushi can't eat a single one! Next time we'll only do one banana. But I already put the whole bunch in, so I ignore her hungry complaints. Oh no! My Yuri just wants some food! The phone wave, name subject to change, is simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone taped on. The number is always in- Oh no, no. The number is already in my address book, I just need to call the phone wave. Now where did I put my phone? I checked my pants and coat pockets. Now where did I put my phone? I check my pants in my coat pockets. Now where do I put my phone? I check my pants in my coat pocket. Uh, why, why is it doing over and over again? 
Let's press the phone triggers button and call the cell phone and make a call to the phone wave name subject to change. It allows to confirm the controller settings from the config of the system menu. What? Wait, 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 what? What? Config? I don't understand. What, what do you want? What do you want? I'm gonna put this up a bit. Uh, what's this? Ooh, voice volume. Ooh, volume. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's everyone's voices. Ooh, we get a peek at, at the characters. That's nice. Um, help? Uh, phone trigger. Okay, C, C and Z. Oh. Okay. Okay. I am operating the phone. Uh, address book. Phone wave. Ferris, Ferris. Lukaku. Lukaku is the one that looks like a mom, isn't she? Ooh. Achievement unlocked. Memories of another. What is this? Are you gonna comment on that? Output oh, box. No mail. Uh, memories of the self. Okay. Uh, settings. Change wallpaper. Ooh, I like the red. Red is my favorite color. Vision protection. Okay. Uh, I thought I changed it. I want to change it. Yeah. Okay. It didn't change. You liar! <laughs> Phone ringtone. I like. What about this? Okay. That's intense. What about this? I love it! What about, what about this? Okay, uh, I forgot this one. Ooh. I don't like that one. That one sounds intense. What about this? Okay, what about this? Ooh, that sounds intense. Okay, I want village. Yes. Chima unlocked. First sound. Okay. Can I please have this wallpaper? What about this one? What about this one? I want the red one. Okay, let's call the phone wave. Wait, no. Let's call Ferris. Can we can we call any of those people? Okay, fine. Phone wave. <laughs> I'm connected. Okay. Hello. This is the phone wave. Name subject to change. This is the voice of Mayushi Guidance, the system Daru program to operate the phone wave. Okay, so it's Mayushi's voice. Do you hear Mayushi's voice? Be quiet. Trying to listen. Aww. She's so cute. Don't shut her down like that. You can operate the timer from this menu. After pushing the number button. Please enter the heating time in seconds. For example, press number 60 for one minute. For two minutes, press number 120. Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave name subject to change to function like a normal microwave. Instead, we're going to deliberately mess up and enter 120. Okay. Uh, number 120. When I enter the command, the phone wave, name subject change, starts up with a low hum. Huh? This just warm it normally. Crap, I messed it up. What? You said 120. You said 120. I immediately shut it off. Let's try again. This time, oh, we're going to ignore the guidance and enter 120, then the hashtag, okay. 120, hashtag. This should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake on Mayuri's part, but somehow starts the freezing process. The phone wave and its name subject change comes to life. The turntable begins to rotate. Nice turntable, right? It's even spinning backwards. Backwards! I never noticed that! 
そこに重大な意味があるかもしれない。If we look at quantum critical behavior driven by Hun's rule, okay, I don't know what you're talking about.、Uh, the rule governing the placement of an atom's electrons, orbitals of the same energy, are each filled with one electron of the same spin before any are filled with a second. Also known as Hun's rule of maximum multiplicity. Okay. Yeah, no. No Hun's rule? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After 120 seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Mayuri takes the bananas out. Gel bananas are ready! What? The hell? The bananas have become. not bananas. Gel gelatinous blobs coated with a thin membrane. After Mayuri discovered that the phone wave, named Subject Change, had a freezing function, we attempted to freeze a bunch of bananas. This is what happened. It just gets more confusing each time. Ugh. Daru. You wouldn't mind eating one of these, would you? Of course you wouldn't! It's for science! Your sacrifice will forever be remembered! Oh no. They look really nasty. The taste doesn't matter. What matters is that you eat it! So come on, Daru! No need to be shy! Break a leg! Or a stomach! And go for it! Uh, I don't want Daru to die. <laughs> no way. Good, Daru. Fine. Mayuri, the honor shall be yours. Don't make Mayuri do it. But gel bananas are all gloopy, droopy, soft, and squishy. Wait, she already tried one? It had no flavor and wasn't tasty at all. Aww. Loopy, droopy, soft, and squishy. Daru, what do you think? Soft and squishy bananas, huh? Soft and squishy banana. Mayushi, Mayushi, say your banana is all soft and squishy for me. Why do you have a nosebleed? You are doing perverted things! No! 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 <laughs> oh, thank God. I thought she was gonna say it. Daru, your nose is bleeding. Please just say it! Oh no! My Yuri, no! Your banana's all soft and. Don't make her say that, you perv! Bless your soul, Rentaro. Bless your soul. <laughs> Oh, Daru retreats after I hit him with a tissue box. Mayuri looks at us with an innocent smile. She doesn't get, obviously. Anyway. Thank God. They're gelatinous. A semi solid state of matter. In other words, there is a possibility that intermolecular bonds were weakened. What could have partially liquefied the bananas? I've got it! I turn to the whiteboard and write freezing in the middle, then I cross it out and slap the board with my hand. What we thought was a freezing function is actually something else. A bold statement, if I do say so myself. So why isn't anyone surprised? So, my touch. No. Now's the time to shout. What did you say? Come on, don't be shy. The reactions are pathetically weak. Mayuri probably didn't even understand half of what I said. Uh, we already knew that. Oh. <laughs> rest in peace, Rintaro, rest in peace. The problem is, we don't know what it is doing or why it's doing it. If it's the opposite of freezing, then couldn't it be thawing them? 
What a silly question, Mayuri. What you're describing is just a normal microwave. Then what is it? We don't know, and that's the problem. Oh, He's right. To be honest, I haven't a clue. Oh. oh! In any case, there's nothing we can do about it now. It's time for Dario and I to head to Dai... Biru. Biru? Dai Biru. Dai Biru. Right? Fictional, a skyscraper with offices and a commerce center that opened alongside UPX in 2003. Connected to UPX by overpass. Okay. Eh. Oh, another tip. Okay. There's going to be a seminar at ATF, and we have to be there. It's part of our studies at Tokyo Denki University. Okay. Fictional, short for Akihabara Techno Forum. A meeting hall located inside Da Biru. Or Dai Biru, sorry. Several universities and research institutions hold special seminars here. Okay. Summer credits, basically. We have to attend the seminar and write a report. Okay, come to think of it, what's today's seminar about again? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I looked it up before the summer holiday began. I should have written it down. Behind me is a large unidentified object that crashed into a building near Akihara Station. The building is under police barricade. No one is allowed to approach. But from a distance, the object appears to be some kind of satellite. As we cross the overpass that connects UPX and Dai B Roof, I look down to see a huge crowd of people moving through the plaza. There are even some garishly dressed young men, and women, the sort you don't usually see around Akira. Everyone is walking towards the main street, which is still cordoned off. Oh yay, it's using my ringtone! Daru, aren't you going to check out Radicon? Uh, give me a sec. I've got mail! Mayuri! You know, I'm really sad about dropping my Yupa. It's worse than last year when I missed buying fatty gyro froggy. Yupa. Yupa? Gyro froggy? Let's talk about our Yupa. I feel your pain. That thing was worth a fortune. Our precious research funds. Ors. How about this? This is the one from last year, right? I thought you weren't interested. Okay. Uh, okay, can I, can I call, can I call my Yuri, can I call anyone, no, what about this, okay fine, oh it has my background, okay, oh, hello, no point, can't get close, I've been following the news online though. There's already a hundred threads about it on at channel. It's huge, man! Oh, so that's why he was staring at his phone earlier. Okay, so now we know we can answer calls and texts. We enter Dai Biru and take the elevator to the fifth floor ATF assembly hall. Oh. Man, feel that AC! I'm alive! Me. Unlike the lab, Daibiru has air conditioning. Yet another reason for our diligent participation in this seminar. About the phone wave, names I might have found our answer. But, you know, that name subject to change thing is really annoying. I agree. <laughs> I won't give in that easily. Even if there's no other lab member to use name subject to change, I will carry on until the day we decide it's true name. Now's not the time. So what's your latest ridiculous theory? What do you mean ridiculous? My genius brain considers every possibility. Even those of lesser mind would say break the laws of nature. Don't you dare call that ridiculous. So basically, you're just pulling stuff out of your ass. You can't call that science. 
Daru. I have a hunch that the phone wave named subject to change may be the key in opening Stein's gate. How's that? Stein's what? You lost me back at Ridiculous Man. <laughs> a chime signals our arrival on the fifth floor. You know what? I actually believe freaking Rintaro because that was in the opening, so it must be important. The elevator, the elevator door opens slowly as we step out of the elevator. Ooh, ooh, cliffhanger. <laughs> I'm gonna end this episode here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Stein's Cage. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. And stay tuned for the next episode where we'll find out what the heck is behind this elevator and I hope it's freaking uh, uh, something Karisu. Uh, uh, I forget the other uh, name in her, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, in her name. I hope it's her. Bye!